Well, hello, friends. Welcome back. <laughs> Sorry for my hiatus. First of all, let me just say I've had a couple of crazy things in the works lately and it's kind of made filming just a little difficult. So I do apologize. I am so sorry. I promise I will get back on a good regular schedule ASAP, but I wanted to get this video up for you guys as soon as possible so you wouldn't think that I had just abandoned you all because I would never do that. This is the look. It is all about a gold eye and a bright pop of a hot pink lip. Um, and if you'd like to know how I got this look, then just please keep on watching. So for this smoky gold and pink lip look, I'm going to start out with the eyes and I've already applied a layer of eyeshadow primer over both eyes. And the next thing that I'm going to do is pick up my Mary Kay at Play Gold Mine pencil. This thing has gotten a lot of use over the holiday season. It is much shorter than it was when I first started. And all I'm going to do with that is just apply an, a thin even layer over both eyes and I'm going to cover the entire length of my eyelid, the entire span of my eyelid with this. So from corner to corner and from lash line up to the brow and I'm just going to smooth that out with my finger. And this step is optional. This is not something that you absolutely have to do. I just like doing this because I feel like it provides a stickier base for the eyeshadow and I also feel like it just adds a little bit more of a gold color especially when we're doing a smoky gold look. And then I'm also going to take whatever's left and just drag it underneath my lower lash line. So I'm not going to add any more product, I'm just going to smooth whatever's left on my finger underneath my lashes. Just like that. Okay. Then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my eye color brush and I'm going to pick up the color Honey Spice which is this right here. I love this color. This is definitely one of my absolute most used eyeshadows in Mary Kay. I love this color so much. Okay, and I'm just gonna pick that up with my eye crease brush, and this is going to go on top of the center of the eyelid. So this is gonna be our main lid color. And again, keeping consistent with how I teach you guys how to apply eyeshadow, don't sweep it all over your eyelid because then you'll get a lot of fallout and a big mess. Pat the eyeshadow on first to get the color to stick and then blend it out and sweep. So I'm just gonna apply on both of my eyelids. Okay, once you have your Honey Spice applied to both of your eyelids, I'm then going to go in with my big fat crease brush, and I'm actually going to pick up a color that we don't have in our line at the moment, but we do have some colors that are very similar that are supposed to be coming out. I'm going to go in with this dark gold color here, and if you've been in Mary Kay for a while, this palette might look a little bit familiar to you, but I'm going to go in with this dark gold color here, and just pick up a little bit of that. This is going to be our transition color so I'm just going to pop this into the crease and just gently work it back and forth. Alright, so now that that dark gold color is applied and smoothed out in our crease, I'm then going to go back in with my smaller crease brush. This is going to be the one color that we use. It's not necessarily gold. It's a little bit outside of the realm of gold, but I'm going to go in with my truffle, which is this right here, and as you can tell, it's very well loved and used. This is the one color that kind of deviates from the gold theme, but you know, you got to have a dark accent color. So I'm going to take this and start working this into my outer corner. And this is going to be the color that creates some depth and dimension in the look, as well as what creates the outer V. Now that I have that truffle color applied, I'm going to go back in with my fluffy crease brush and just a tiny little bit more of that dark gold color just to kind of help soften and blend everything out just a little bit more. All right, and last but not least, the last color that we're gonna use is not glistening gold. What is this one called? Gold Coast. <laughs> Gold Coast, which is this one right here. 
So this is not the newest, lightest gold shade that we have. This one is a little bit more of a solid gold kind of concentration, if that makes sense. It's more of a, a richer gold color, I guess. I don't know what I'm, I don't know what I'm saying. You two can be a YouTuber because I don't know what I'm saying. And I'm just gonna pick that up with my clean eye crease brush, and this is going to go underneath the brow and in the inner tear duct to kind of feather everything out and brighten the eyes. Okay, so now that you have all your eyeshadow on and it is blended and gorgeous, this is definitely one of my favorite daytime looks. I love this look. Um, and then I'm going to go in with my eyeliner, and you guys know me and my gel liner. I've got some really great news as far as gel liner is concerned, so hold off till the end and I'll fill you in on that. But I'm going to go in with my black gel liner on my small brush and do my regular cat eye. Because what would an Abby Barrett makeup look be without an intense cat eye? It wouldn't be an Abby Barrett look, that's for sure. Okay, so there's the liner done, and for this look, I'm actually going to go an extra step further. Normally, I don't really apply a liner on my waterline, but for this one, I am. Um, I've got some fun things to go do tonight, so I'm going to do a little extra special something. Um, so all I'm going to do is just take my regular black pencil liner, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to tight line my entire eye, and what that means is I'm going to apply eyeliner to the inner rims of both my upper and bottom uh, lash lines. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you. Um, is apply the liner on the inner rim of the lash line just like this and you don't want to swamp your poor little tear duct so don't apply don't apply your liner over your little tear ducts go right underneath the tear duct so that you don't just clog the poor thing to death and apply your liner and this may look a little weird, but bear with me. Um, and what I'm also going to do now is I'm going to do the same thing but on the upper lid. And what happens when you do that is it darkens that skin, obviously, because you're applying liner. But it fills in any, I guess, skin color holes, any lightness that's in between your lashes and your liner, which makes your lash line look a lot thicker. So what I'm going to do is I found it's helpful to kind of tip your head back and look down either straight on or down into a mirror. So tilt your head back and looking kind of straight forward but also a little bit down into the mirror and just running this along the lash line. And it just makes all the difference in the world. Just like that, so you go from this to this and it just amps it up that much more. One thing to keep in mind as far as this particular eyeliner trick goes is that if you have very small eyes, this can really kind of close your eye off a lot more and make it look a lot smaller and squintier than maybe you had intended. So for smaller eyes, what I suggest is to do it on the upper lash line only and that way you still get the thickness and volume look for your lashes but you're not closing the eye off quite as much. It's always nicer to put a lighter or a white eyeliner in that bottom lash line, especially when you have smaller eyes because it makes your eyes look open. I'm just going to curl my lashes and apply my mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is the eyes done. I love this look. It's very glamorous, but it's very subtle glamorous, so it's perfect for daytime. And now on to the fun part, which is the hot pink lips. Um, I'm going to be using a couple of different products, um, some of which are still available, some of which are not, but there are plenty of dupes that we could come up with for this. So if you have any specific questions about what products could be duped for, um, leave me a comment down below and I will find some equivalents for you. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my soft blush lip liner and I like this one just because it's close to my skin's natural color. Something that's optional too is if you want to really give a good tacky sticky base for your lip color to apply to is you can fill in your entire lip with your lip liner but since the lipstick I'm going to be using today is a matte finish I'm not going to worry with that. So the lipstick that I'm going to use today is this right here. This is a matte formula 
cream lipstick and this is a retired color but it's called pink melon it's a very hot bright pink barbie pink matte finish lipstick so i'm just going to take this and apply it all over my lips and because this is a matte formula it can be pretty drying so definitely make sure that you moisturize your lips or at least put a gloss on top and there is the lipstick. I love this look and you could definitely leave it just as it is with the hot pink matte lip and the sparkly eyes. But I mean, this is us we're talking about. Life is too short to not sparkle. We need a little bit more shine. So what I'm gonna go in with next is this product right here. This is a, what is this called? This is a lip lacquer pot. <laughs> this was a limited edition. It's a very pigmented, buildable coverage. Um, gloss product that is just beautiful. It's a hot pink color with a blue duochrome shimmer in it. So it makes it this really gorgeous magenta-y kind of color. It doesn't have very much sparkle in it, but it is very shiny and beautiful. So I'm going to take it with the lip brush and just smooth some of this over. Sorry about that. My camera battery cut off. So this is the finished look. I hope you like it. Um, it's something that just kind of came to me and I was like, oh, I think I want to film that. I think that'd be pretty. So I hope this is something that you could see yourself wearing um, either if not every day, then to definitely something fun or maybe going out with friends or something like that. So definitely leave me some comments and requests and things like that in the bottom bar below. Um, I would love to hear what you guys would like to see. Um, getting feedback is definitely going to be helpful for me because I've only got so many ideas. I got a lot of ideas, but I've only got so many of them at the same time. So definitely let me know what you guys would like to see in the future as far as makeup looks or product reviews and things like that. I do have a lot of product reviews planned, so it is taking me quite a while to get all of those filmed, but I am working on those, just so you guys know. Um, that's about all I can think of. I will have a lot of new product videos coming out within the next couple of months with this new quarter product release. So that's going to be super exciting. Um, and as far as what I was talking about earlier with the gel eyeliner goes, it's coming back. I know. I just about died. <laughs> So I don't know any other details yet as far as whether it's going to be regular line or a lim another limited edition run, but it is coming back. So that is so exciting. Um, and there's a lot of really other exciting products coming out too. There's going to be some new Mary Kay products coming out or obviously some new Mary Kay products. There's going to be some new At Play products coming out pretty soon. Um, some new colors and just going to keep it really fun and fresh. But the big thing that's coming out, you guys, CC Cream. We got one. From what I can tell. It's pretty awesome. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> so lots of new, fun, exciting things coming um, and already in the works. I promise I will get my Skin Vigorate brush video up pretty soon. But um, as far as that goes, I think that's everything. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. I hope you just are happy and healthy and make the most out of everything. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.